Hello, Digital Card Fighters. This is Kyle D bringing you more Card Fight Vanguard Zero deck profiles. Today's a Shadow Budget build. So, what is in my Shadow Budget build to begin with? So, I have the starter of the Creeping Dark Goat because Counter Blast put this unit into Soul. Look at the top five cards of your deck and add a grade three so you can fix your ride targets. So, now let's get on to what I run. So, I run four. Baja card because Baja card can call a board. Um, you want to be able to get this off. It's fun. Then I run for the Dark Dictator because this is a budget build. So it is Soul Saver plus Alfred together. So and that's the fun part. It gets 200 for each rear guard and then Soul Blast and Soul Card. Soul plus 3, 5k. So he's like your end game, or you can put it right behind the Vanguard and just keep boosting their power so one thing i run is the main ride is knight of purgatory skull face so at the start of the main phase soul charge this unit gets plus 2k until the end of turn so it hits the mlb number but it also has a retire the board so that's what we want but i also run one phantom blaster dragon oh but before you say oh it's not budget well it technically is because anything that you can get for free by just naturally playing the game and opening packs is technically a free card. I'm only picking one because naturally getting 200 for most people is really hard. So it's better just to play, get one. And having one just to clear out the board is fine enough. So he has a soul, if he has blast dark and soul, plus 1k, counter blast, retire three, rear guards your opponent's Retire one of your opponent's rear guards, gets 1,000 a crit. Crit power, everything like that, the fun stuff. Then I run triple dark armor, because when this unit attacks, retire one. You can get him up to 12k by just fixing numbers, and that's really useful. Then I run four darkness made in Maka, just to be able to make column numbers that you need. Then we have Curse Lancer, who is our counter charger, because we are counter blast heavy. Then I run two... Blaster Dark because Blaster Dark is Blaster Dark. Then we have Nightmare Painter. When in place, you may put a card from your hand into Soul. This is basically what you do. You use him, call her, use him, put into Soul, be able to get your Soul up so that you're hitting numbers. You want to hit numbers in this deck. Then you have Black Sage Karen, also another target for Maka. And then also Blaster Javelin. When placed, you can literally grab your Blaster Dark. I mean, Phantom Blaster. And with that, this is the deck profile MPGs. This is really budget, and it's actually pretty consistent. So I hopefully you guys like this. So we're gonna save, and then we're going to start. At least attempt to fight. I know that we're kind of in an MLB meta and stuff like that, but being able to hit those numbers, you might be able to push enough. Don't expect this deck to be crazy. So let us try again. So let's see what we can do here. Ooh, Is it a budget deck? Fall at the sight of Xander. Ooh, Xander, will our battle be legendary? <coughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, I gotta change this. Um, I'm gonna put Maka back. No. Oh. Great! Not a great one, I think. Not a great one. Okay. Ooh, we got a grade one. So. Dark Goat. And then we're gonna put Blaster Blade into Soul. So. Actually. No, we're not gonna invoke because we're gonna ride Blaster Blade. We're gonna turn Endo here. He's gonna grab his Blaster Blade because that's what he's gotta do. So what we're hoping for. Hmm. Swing the 8k at us. We have crits. Is the question. Ooh, stand trick. Is he running a budget build? Because he might be borrowing what I've decided to do. But instead of me focusing on getting a free card on the ride of chance, I'm going to go 
Oh, Blaster Blade off! Blaster Dark, I mean. Blaster Dark! Sorry. I've been screaming Blaster Blade for like 15 days now. So, <laughs> so let us see here. We're gonna swing here. There we go. Okay. So let us see what else he can do here. So, I want to know if he has the Overlord. I mean, Phantom Blaster. Because, again, the main concept is hair. this back up here. I'm just surprised this thing is so loyal. Guys, I'm sorry. This is not what I'm supposed to be sitting on. <laughs> but again, we're going to get to our cards. Hmm. He's going to rest. Ooh, he's going to now... So he's not budget. So we're skull the main. Okay, so he's kind of over the place. So he is sort of busted. Hmm. Very interesting. So this is gonna rest. Yep. Discard a blaster dark because he doesn't need any more because now he has the one to solve. So he's trying to dig deep for probably Phantom Overlord call, and I wouldn't be surprised. So let's see what happens here. This is thirteen. Well, this is twelve. This is 10. Doesn't matter what he does now, actually. Um, because he's only going to get one swing in. Unless he gets a trigger. So, okay. Ooh. Really giving... He's had a handful of Blaster Darks. Javelin. Okay, discard your grade 3. Ooh. Add the Phantom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Very interesting. He burned a lot of resources. I'm gonna be honest with you. The amount of resources he just burned to do this is a little bit Crit. Okay. So the matter of the skull, which you will not get. Second jack. Ooh, right into the draw trigger that we want. Ooh. So. We're gonna go into him. For a good reason. So. Phantom Blaster can come later. I don't wanna give it away right away that I have him. So, what we're hoping for here. Perfect. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is counter boss, activate skill. We're gonna check the top three. There we go, we got our boy. So we got her now probably the best thing we can do here. So with that shuffle we kind of get some really nice points. Activate so, let's see. Only need is our Karen here. So we're gonna call. We're gonna call. And then we're gonna activate skill. One, two, three, that goes out. Exactly what we need. We're gonna... Uh, hmm. We're gonna leave it in behind right now. Okay, so we're gonna swing. Hmm. We're gonna swing 9k here. And then we're gonna swing 12k here. First check. Second check. Field trigger does go off, which is really nice here. So we're gonna boost our carry and I'm off the column. Because we need to be able to hit the trigger. And then we're now going to swing. And there we go, one PG gone. And now he's gonna play Phantom Blaster on top of Blaster. We're gonna just keep this up for a little bit because we can actually manipulate the board state a little more, which is good because not many decks can manipulate, and being able to fight this deck at what this deck's facing level is, it's really nice. We already pushed it to three. Okay. So he's bringing in Dark Dictator, means he does, his backup is Dark Dictator. And he's gonna save the good boy Phantom Blaster Dragon till later. Okay. Ooh, what is he doing here? He lost one PG that we know of, so he's got to make some moves here that is going to make up for this. Interesting. Is he going to call backup here? Ooh. Powering them up. 
be able to clear out my pool. Very smart play. But now he doesn't have for Phantom Blaster. So let's see what his drive checks will reveal to us. So that's going to be a make or break situation. So we take the crit, which is fine. So he doesn't restand, stand which he was hoping for. Second check. Second check. Raw trigger. Nice. So, ooh. I didn't need to heal though. Hmm. I'm hold off. I mean, we could swing massively into him and not even care. So what we're gonna do is call. Well, let's get soul charge. So let us see. We have five in soul. So in the next turn we can retire a full board. What we want. Ooh, we got Karen. Perfect. Now these columns actually matter. We're not worrying about the retire skill. So, perfect. So, we don't need to hit here. Actually, we're gonna swing 14 here. And then, we're gonna swing 14 here. So, if any way, shape, or form we hit a trigger, um, a sand trigger in our drive checks, we actually gain some major damage. Oh man. Okay, now he has to commit to board. Because if he doesn't start committing... <sighs> I'm just keeping my, um... He's gonna have to, have to go over Dark Dictator. Because if he doesn't kill this off shortly... Actually, no, he can't even do that. Dang. What is this? A stand? Ooh. So. Counter Blast, draw to... Okay, what is he gonna do here? So, he's digging deep for a PG, probably more. Or a second PG, because we're now able to swing multiple times now. So, okay, got rid of a grade 3. He's digging for something. And either it's the PG he needs. Okay. So, let us see what we can do here. We could retire board state, and I don't want to do that very often. We're going to have to see what happens. Because we can get rid of the triangle formation um, next turn. Because we'll just call Ride Phantom Blaster. And because our soul is still this, we'll have to see. Okay, two cards in hand. And the good question is, what are those two cards? Because... If they're both PGs, he's got a good chance of winning this. If they're not, Ooh. Is it worth it though? He's gonna check the PG no matter what. First check, second check. Heal trigger does go live, which is really nice for him, because that's what he needs right now, is the heal trigger to go live. And our PG will proc. See, he's got he's got two PGs at this point. So Stand trigger. There's my stand, which I really needed earlier. So what is our options here? We have to push two. Hmm. Let's see. I could call him to try to nab one of the PGs out now. But I don't think that's the best option right now. So we're gonna just wait it out. Then we're gonna call. Call. We really don't have much here because our only option here is to see that heal at the moment. Or hit a draw into a PG. Oof. This is bad. So we're gonna swing 9k here. And we're gonna swing uh, 12k here. First check. Second check, heal trigger, goes live. Perfect. We're gonna do this. But we're gonna not actually kill him this time. Okay. That is his final heal. Our, we're out of heals as well, but that's fine. We're not going to swing at him, because, again, giving him the ability to retire our board state would be really bad, and we need to be able to keep the blaster blade where we need it. He has one more to a crit. Hmm. 
what's going to be his play here? He's got to get rid of the Blaster Blade, no matter what he does here. Hmm. Hmm. What is he going to call for a board tunnel? Ooh, that's an alpha. Okay, he has two BGs at hand, and this is now signifying that he does. Ooh, stand trigger might cost us the game here. Dang. But that's the problem. It doesn't matter here. It, he got the stand trigger he needed. Dang. GG, good game. This is what the deck can do, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of insight of what it can do. Again, restanding and everything like that. Even playing against another shadow deck, it actually kept even with it. Even though it probably wouldn't have handled the other way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you.